the first things to go over would be basically what every document needs, right? And uh, that's content, right? So paragraphs and stuff like that that you would actually have text in. So I'm not going to make you like sit here and watch me write a bunch of stuff. So instead, I'm just going to grab some text from over here. I'm going to grab this. And uh, that's completely okay because this is Creative Commons, right? And so as long as I am properly telling you where it comes from, then I am following this Creative Commons attribution share alike license, right? So no big deal, right? I'm not pretending it's mine. I'm being very transparent about it. So I'll just copy that. I'm going to paste that in here, right? And ta-da, we have text, right? So it's, it's really easy uh, to have text in Markdown as well as in like HTML as well, but we'll get to that later. So now there's a couple things to uh, notice about this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this right now because we'll we'll talk about headers later. Right now we have text here, and we see a paragraph break here, and we see a paragraph break there. Now, what if we didn't want that gap? Right, we have this gap here. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. There we go, just so that way you can see this ending not at the very end, but with some space here. Because if I delete this, right, we see a gap here but we don't see the gap there, right? So paragraph break, but not a line break. So how do we how do we do that? How do we make this match this? So um, that's not hard either, but it's a little less obvious. So instead of just a simple enter here, right? We have um, a carriage return, a pressing return once on your keyboard, right? We need to instead have two spaces and then that return and that will allow us to have a single line break instead of the paragraph break. Now, why might that be useful? Uh, let's say that I want to make a little list here, right? So um, let's do mark down videos, right? And so maybe I want to have a list here. Oops, let's not do that. Um, that's fine. No, it's fine. Okay, so I am going to use this, right? But I don't want that underline because that's not what I was looking for. Instead, I'm going to put a slash here. The slash. There we go. That slash. This is an escape command. It tells the editor not to treat that like special code. So this is special code, and we'll talk about it in the next video. But this tells it like don't don't do that, right? Just make it a dash, right? And so now I can create um, a list, right? So my first video was about markdown, right? And then my second video was about tools that we'll use and my third one was about how to learn with these videos or whatever and then uh, this one is about content or not just content but paragraphs and text and the next one will be about headers right and this looks great here but that looks terrible there right and it's because I didn't use the spaces, right? So I used line breaks, and it looks fine here, but without these spaces, I'm not getting the same thing here. So that's just something to be aware of. And really, that's pretty much it when it comes to paragraphs. It's really not complicated. Now, um, something else to be aware of, depending on how you like to write your paragraphs, um, sometimes people like to have the little gap at the start of the paragraph, right? Like you like to do that, right? Um, problem, see what it did? It did it like this, right? And it put this into this weird box thing, and that's not what we wanted. So if you do four spaces, then it does that. It treats it like a tab, which does that. Um, but if you do three spaces, um, that doesn't do that. But we can see it's not imitating it here. So how do how do we do that? Now, there isn't special markdown code for this, so instead we uh, borrow something that we use with HTML, and um, that's using sort of special, a special notation to include a special character. So it's going to be ampersand NBSP, non-breaking space, oh, and then a semicolon, right? And that creates one space. So to have the four that I wanted, I need to do four of them, right? And I just copied and pasted, so one, two, three, four. And that's how we can do that sort of indentation that some people like to have at the start of their paragraphs.